Hey everybody, Scott Sprenza here, DotSports.com. Welcome to the update for Sunday, June 14, 2020. We are talking NASCAR Cup Series action as the series heads to Homestead. We'll get to our free picks of NASCAR in just a moment. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member, DotSports.com and just want to give it a trial run. It's a real cool way to do it. You click on that link below the video and get set up for a free $60 account. You can then use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages at DocSports.com. Again, it all starts by clicking on the link below the video. Hey, we did it again. We went one and one in UFC, but we lost the small play, a big underdog play at plus 210. We won the big play, the five-star play, uh, which cashed in the main event. And this means we are now five and oh, 100%, and up about $3,000 for $100 per unit betters since uh, UFC resumed back in May with our top play from each card. We've won all five. So uh, good results again on Saturday night. UFC will be back in action next week. Uh, as far as everything else, we'll have soccer on Sunday. Premium pick at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. And my premium picks in NASCAR also available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. I do matchups with my premium picks. We have been hot 21-8 uh, with our last 29, 28-11 with our last 39. Listen, I lost on Wednesday night, but we're still on that 28 and 11 run in NASCAR with our matchups. And we are uh, the number one better in NASCAR going all the way back to 1996 when I started talking about it, giving it out, playing it, the whole thing on the world famous Stardust Line radio show when I was co-host of that show in the 90s. So listen, let's get right back to a new win streak and uh, that'll be available on Sunday along with the soccer at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. Uh, no KBO, uh, they, they're off until Tuesday. Uh, you can go over to DocSports.com on Monday, 3.30 p.m. Eastern, 12.30 p.m. Pacific and check out our Tuesday KBO if we decide to jump in. And a real quick note, Japanese baseball is starting in a few days the regular season and I will be in action been following the Japanese baseball league for a few years now so can't wait to get started we'll have Japan we'll have Korean if Major League Baseball ever rolls around we'll have three different baseball leagues that we're looking about looking at to play at least on a daily basis all right let's get to our NASCAR uh, free pick for Sunday's card again they are at Homestead you're talking about mile and a half track it's got a paperclip shape and it is going to be the 550 horsepower package Here Here's what I'm gonna tell you off the top. Listen, he's five to one, but Kyle Busch ought to be raring to go for this one. He ought to be a ticked off driver. He's had so many good runs, but yet to finish with a victory. Uh, now going into his 12th race, and the first 11, or the last 11, I should say, he's not landed in winner's circle in victory lane. I think he's gonna be just raring to go in this particular game, and here's why. There's no practice this week, and when that happens, you gotta look at how drivers and teams have done uh, with the package of the racing at that particular track for that weekend and if you look at Kyle Busch you're talking about uh, the current driver in all of NASCAR the current drivers who has led more laps than anybody else at Homestead in his career over 460 laps led uh, he knows what it is to win here and I think he's in for a big big race on Sunday barring bad luck now he's about five to one other drivers I think might not be a bad idea to plunk some money down on Martin Truex Jr. finally got on the same page with his new crew chief he's five to one you got Kevin Harvick at 9-2, and I think for a semi-long shot, or at least a little bit bigger than these, now Ryan Blaney at 12-1 to is not bad. I keep expecting Ryan Blaney uh, to have a strong finish at Homestead. Not so much thus far in his career, but if you look at this season, it's a situation where he's raced well with this package. Top five in Atlanta, couple of the top fives in Charlotte. I think he's dialed in with this package, and I like him here, and he's 12-1. to So there's a few to win bets that I like, and as far as my free matchup is concerned and again not the same as my premium matchup which is a six-star play over at DocSports.com but my free matchup I'm gonna go with Ryan Blaney over Alex Bowman Alex Bowman continues uh, to get a lot of hype and I know he raced well early this season at Fontana at Darlington but he hasn't been racing too well or too hot as of late he's everybody's sexy pick every week and he's not yet come through over the past several races and in this particular race you can get Ryan Blaney Blaney, anywhere from plus $1.05 to plus $1.15 head-to-head -head matchup against Bowman. So we'll recommend a free pick on Blaney, our opinion, and don't forget about that premium pick over at DocSports.com, available Sunday, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific, six-star play. We are on run 
runs of 21 and 8 and 28 and 11 in NASCAR. And we go back to 1996 since we've been betting NASCAR. And uh, you know how we did on that Stardust, uh, Stardust, uh, uh, Stardust Line radio show, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, we were on that for several years back in the 1990s. And that's where I began giving out these NASCAR plays, betting them. It was the start of the 1996 season when we had our first full season of NASCAR as far as betting was concerned. And we reeled off winner after winner. And it's been going strong ever since. We lost on Wednesday, by the way. I had Keselowski against Truex. Keselowski finished third. Unfortunately, Truex finished first. But we like to get right back in the win column. We normally do. And again, 21 and 8 and 28 and 11 runs with our NASCAR premium picks. So go check that out on uh, Sunday, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, anytime after that over at DocSports.com. Again, the free pick is Ryan Blaney over Alex Bowman, head-to-head -head matchups at Homestead. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. Should be right back here no later than Monday, late afternoon, early evening with a free pick from Tuesday's Korean Baseball. I'm Scott Sprite, so let's put him in the win column.